Hello YouTubers. Well, it's that time. Yep, time for another episode of my spectacular car show. Don't forget to hit the like button and click on the subscribe. Hello YouTubers, you join me at the beginning of another one of my videos. The postman has brought me another package, so I'm very grateful for my postman. Top bloke. Well, I get more than one postman, but let's have a quick look. Let's get it open. I can't contain the excitement. It's not my bucket seat, but it's a cheap set of eBay brushes. Now, if anybody's actually searched the history of my car on the um, government MOT site, you would have seen that quite often the brake hoses or brake lines come up as being corroded or dirty or greasy or unable to see. As my MOT is being extended from July until January due to infection that's going around the country or around the world even by the time you watch this hopefully and i really hope things are starting to get back to normal because i mean it's been months and i mean here we are now in what are we in now go september yeah let's hope anyway i'm gonna cut most of that out speed it up a bit so the idea is, is I'm going to go under my car, yep, my favourite place, and probably use this little brush or this one, and I may use that one just for the sake of having it, and try and clean some of the pipelines on my car, the brake lines, and the knuckles where the hoses join up to the pipes. Just to freshen it up, um, plus also to assess if the pipes actually need replacing or not. So. Join me outside with my car being put up in the air and we'll see what happens. Well, the other day I filmed the intro to this amazing video. Um, I explained that I bought some of these and the reason being is for the last few MOTs I've had an advisory for the brake lines being dirty, covered in grease, stuff like that. So I'm gonna turn the car around put the back up on some ramps and take a look at the brake lines under the car. I've got some sandpaper, I've got my wire brushes and obviously once that's done I will do the fronts but that may be in another video, who knows. Anyway, let's get the car turned around and get started.
There we go. My car is up on its uh, stand. Never made easy. But yeah. Let's get my mat and have a quick look under the car to see if it's possible. There's my mat to even get to the uh, brake line. So obviously when I come through the front ones, um, I'm going to have to take the uh, front wheels off, but there's a cobweb. But hmm. So the brake line goes along. Wishbone's a bit flaky. Yeah. All I can susp interpretate them as being this bit here. Because I mean, that bit's hardly bloody bad, is it? Let's get on. I may actually put the car. on a jack just have a quick nose around whilst I'm under here make sure everything else is okay yeah right let's see if I can clean them up let's get some um, tar remover or something and see where we're at well I've cleaned the pipe underneath, but I'm assuming, like I say, they can only mean these bits that go from there to there, because it's hard to see the pipe that runs underneath the car isn't actually bad at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take it down off the mini ramps, take each wheel off on each corner, and do it that way. Right, let's do all this again. Well, I didn't film it, but I've jacked the car off, taken the wheel off. I've actually given the tyre a quick check to make sure there's no... Um, bit stuck in it. I pulled out a few stones. Um, I've also checked the inside of the rim just to make sure it's not cracked. No reason for it to be but I think before I put it back on I shall give it a clean and also put some new copper slip or grease on there. Right let's move over to the car. Duh. I probably picked the tightest side to do. And I thought if I filmed one on the back, um, as I say, you can see where I've cleaned the brake line up to the chassis point. Um, I suspect they mean that, which, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I'll probably treat the uh, shock there to a Quick clean. Half tempted to lower it a little bit more, but yeah, under here not looking too bad. I'll um, make a start on this. Right, so let's get my. Uh, I didn't use tar remover in the end. I remembered I was sent this can. Um, I know it's for the actual.
for actually cleaning the brakes. But let's get my little little brush. Now let's help if it gets in focus. Yeah, I mean, I could actually sand it, I guess. I'm not too sure what you're allowed to do in terms of covering the brake line. Like I say, nobody likes working on dirty cars. But if I had a house with a multi-bay garage um, I suspect I would put Woking to shame with their McLaren headquarters because I would be rather clean well, what do we know? One day, maybe. And these cheap brush sets I bought are proving invaluable. Let's just try. Just to clean the threads. Spring WD forty is an idea, but let's clean the back of the threads. Yeah, check the condition of the spring. Everything else. Plastique I may give this bit of quick wipe over. As I say, the MOT is not due for another uh, I don't know, four months, five months, something like that. Quite a while. And ideally. I'd like to have my um, brake conversion done by then, or I'll go and buy myself a Civic Type R or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a clean up under here, and then when you come back, it should be somewhere handy. Right, excuse the water, but I have been washing underneath here. Um, you can see where the car's been sealed before. Um, hose is looking a lot better. The only thing I found, and although let's get a, it's solid, the um, sealant that they'd put over the inside, there's obviously parts of it have broken away. A tiny bit of surface rust has got beneath it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's basically, if you look at it, if I can get a piece in my hand, it's the sealant that's been painted on. I don't know if that will focus. There you go. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is treat the metal with just some of this and then go over it with some sealant, just to be on the safe side. Um, as you can see, I've cleaned up the brake lines, brake pipes. Um, they'll probably be all dirty again, but it's just one corner, it's taken an hour or so, but yeah. I've not taken the uh, splash guard off, because hopefully that's done its job. But it was worth doing to find that 
So let's treat that, do a quick update, and then make a start on the other side. So, I scraped off that sealant, um, treated it with some rust treater, just to secure the metal, and then painted it with a, obviously, black paint, but to rust paint, so it should offer some protection. Um, I've also sprayed some WD-40 on the thread of the BC Racing coilover. Tempted to lower it now, but this has taken an hour longer than I thought, so I shall transfer to the other side because I want to do that one as well. But the object was just to clean the prank lines. But, <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I don't think they're that bad. Um, I've also, if it will show, it's going to be hard with the light. Um, I've resealed all the inside that I can see. Obviously I've not taken the guard off, but I will one day, I promise. But yeah, all I've got to do is put the wheel back on. I've greased the uh, back of the wheel, which I will show you. There we go. There's the wheel. I've given it a quick wipe on the inside. As I say, the wheels were new. Um, don't know how that got there. It's on the inside edge, but that's where the old weights used to be, which they moved to there when it picked up a puncher. But yeah. That's not bad. Um, I don't think I'll film the other side. This is exactly the same process. But I may do. Let's see. I may do an assessment for you. Anyway, let's get the wheel back on. Switch my stuff to the other side and get on. Right, so again, I think that's what they're giving a, an advisory. As I say, brake lines are dirty, but when you look under the car, they're quite clean. So what I'll do, like the other side, let's give this all a clean inside first, see where I'm at. Thread of the shocks are filthy. Um, but as I say, I won't be adjusting them. Um, I'll give that a clean up. And then, yeah, an hour later, I shall bring you back. As if by magic. And, uh, yeah, see the difference. There we go. I've cleaned all behind there. Up in there. I'm going to treat all that. Um... Treat up in there because that's where the sealant has got thin and treat that leading edge. But yeah, purpose was to clean up these, which they've come out rather nice. So when you come back with some YouTube magic, um, yeah, the rust treatment should be on and then new sealant should be on. And I wasn't going to do much, was I? Hey, just clean these. But the fronts will definitely have to be another episode. Yay! Well, I'm not sure how much of this you can see. Um, but yeah, I've treated the entire inside edge. And the plan is 
to let that dry it obviously goes black and then do the same as the other side just paint it over in the obvious little patches but I may as the weather's beginning to turn um, I may get my heat gun out and speed up the drying process but brake pipes looking good shocks looking good I've yet to coat the thread with WD but I would do that and a tiny bit of paint on my spring how annoying right yeah well oh, camera's on the move so I'll be back again shortly or probably in another half an hour an hour of real time hey Well, right, trying to stop the uh, glare from the outside world getting in. Treated. Cleaned. Tiny bit of black paint on there. Um, yeah, and I've cleaned the thread, ready for when I lower it a little bit more. Um, don't know how long it's going to last, but... It's better than it was. So what I've got to do now is put the wheel back on. And I've been through and picked out a few big pieces of gravel. Clean the backside of the wheel. <laughs> so I've just got a bit of a copper grease to do. Put the wheel back on. Tighten the wheel nuts up. And then lower it off the jack. Not too bad, looking a lot better. Um, very happy with what I've achieved today. It's taking, well, yeah, a few hours more than I thought it would, but I didn't anticipate on cleaning, removing some surface rust on the arch and treating it, but it's another job done. Well, I'm just going to check a few things whilst I'm out here. Green wash is okay. I know the oil is okay. Just check everything because obviously coolant's in there. Um, yeah, that's new. It's obviously working. So yeah, pretty productive video, all the arches are done, oh, I say all, the rear arches are done, treated, done the brake lines, done the rear brake line under the car, um, I'll obviously check them closer to the MOT, which is a few months away yet, because obviously I had the extension, but I may put it in early, who knows, try to strategically do it for the time of year. Um, I've treated the backside under the arches, uh, all jobs I should have done in the summer, but because of a certain pandemic, all I did was work, but that's cool. Right, anyway, so next week, or in the next episode I should say, because I'll probably film it tomorrow, um, I'm going to check the brake lines on the front. Lovely. <laughs> so, if you've enjoyed this episode, leave a comment, a like, dislike, any interaction is cool. And, yeah, and a pack up. I've cleaned my tools. Another handy tip, keep your tools clean, well maintained. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and a wee. Right, see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.